welcome everyone. It's really um, a pleasure to to be here today and uh, to have really um, be part of this NSF Northeast Big Data Hub. Uh, for it's uh, been a great pleasure for us to. Uh, be chosen to lead this uh, with uh, so many incredible partners in the Northeast to really try to push data science forward in, in really unique and powerful ways. I, I do want to um, first also thank uh, Kathy McCune for her great leadership. Uh, this is uh, a, a pretty tremendous effort and, uh, and we see so much promise for what will come by bringing together so many different universities and leaders in data science. So as everyone here in this room can appreciate, uh, we see uh, data science as being a really a transformative element uh, in many different ways. So I'm going to list a few that I see, um, and it should um, uh, help you appreciate that uh, th that Kathy and um, and the, our computer science peers, our st statisticians, and many other faculty from across the um, university have really um, convinced me of the importance of data science to, to so much of what we do today. So one of the things we see is that data science itself is transforming other academic disciplines. It's transforming our ability to bring novel solutions to global challenges. It's transforming our ability to understand ourselves and our surroundings locally and globally. It's transforming our connectivity and our interconnectivity with disparate fields. And it's transforming industry and business. So it's really impacting economy in ways that we haven't seen before. So this uh, universal recognition that we have an increasing ability to sense, to measure, to monitor, is really also further expanding our, uh, the sense and the magnitude of data that we have on almost everything. And therefore, what are we really going to do with all of this data, with all of the tremendous uh, computational capabilities, the new algorithms that are emerging from our foundational data scientists? Uh, how are we going to bring all this to bear to really make a difference? Right? How, it's going to change the way we define problems. It's going to change the way we bring solutions to problems. So speaking as someone who's, uh, whose research field is actually very physics and mechanistic based, um, for me to come to grips with really understanding that we're actually going to discover new things just from a data-driven approach, uh, it was a hard sell, but I've been sold. Uh, that there's this uh, sense of what we're really coming to grips with in the ubiquity and the magnitude of both structured data and unstructured data and what the power that that's going to have to really bring new solutions and also identify problems in ways we've never even conceived of before. So some of the things at Columbia that we're really looking at is uh, you've heard about our precision medicine initiative, that we will really be able to bring a data-driven approaches in multiple different ways to medicine, whether it's from genomics or whether it's from patient health records. Very disparate and different ways of thinking about it, but data is going to be at the core. If you're a materials uh, designer like I am, you can actually think of how are we going to use a data-driven approach to materials discovery? How are we going to extract mechanistic understanding simply from data? This can be on materials or it can be on disease, right? So the sense of how are we going to really bring data to bear to really bring new and different ways of thinking about things uh, in the future. We're going to bring data to understand societal dynamics. Right? So here we've talked about medicine. We've talked about materials discovery. We talked about societal dynamics. Okay, it's changing finance. Right? So every field you can think of uh, is going to have an impact. And really finding the right problems okay, to, to bring this to bear on is also a critical challenge. Right? Because you want to bring this in a way that's novel and different, 
okay? Not just finding a different way to find the same solution, but there's gonna be a real power here. I think another element that this is driving um, that is, is rather different is it's, it's the fact that we're having so much data and a data-driven approach is enabling different, very different fields to come together on problems, right? So I call this the pan-disciplinary approach. So we, we typically use the word interdisciplinary when we're thinking of integrating science with engineering or different engineering fields. But what these data-driven approaches is doing is really also being a magnet that pulls together very different fields, right? So we're seeing uh, that with the launch of our Data Science Institute at Columbia, um, that this has actually brought together faculty from policy together with faculty in computer science or in, in statistics, faculty from medicine, faculty from public health. So by having this other way of looking at a problem is bringing fields that really hadn't really been so connected before together, okay? Journalism, okay? law. Right? So this very pan-disciplinary approach uh, is also now going to lead to an innovative and different ways of doing things, of bringing solutions to really big problems facing us. I think that's been one of the most exciting things here that we're seeing at Columbia is how we're able to now uh, start to work across very disparate fields and start to develop some common languages in how do we actually move uh, new fields uh, together in, in ways that we haven't been able to do before. So I know I'm preaching to the choir here, um, but the sense of the importance of data science in really revolutionizing academia, but also uh, our more mission-focused research in bringing solutions to real uh, problems facing the world is, is a power that I, it's really just opening up now. And, I, and we're, it's not just expanding our ability within a university to collaborate, but having something like this Northeast um, Big Data Hub is now going to connect our multiple universities together to really pursue this frontier together. So, so thank you all for coming, and um, I hope you enjoy the time you're here at Columbia and in, of course, the great city of New York. And we have a wonderful reception at our French house, uh, and Kathy will, I'm sure, show you the way. Okay, thank you.